All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, as I think a lot of people had expected, we are going to be getting one more new banner and one more new unit on Global before the 6th anniversary starts in about 3 weeks from now. And of course, that unit is the STRLR Tapion and Minosha. And along with them, we should also be getting a new Extreme Z Awakening for the AGL uh, Tapion slash Harutagarn. So in today's video, I want to quickly go over the details for both these units to uh, get you guys ready for what's to come. Okay, so let's start with the LR first. Their leader skill is Storied Figures, which is a brand new category. I think on JP it was called Hero of Legend or something like that. And a lot of people are not a big fan of the global name, which is you know, pretty standard, but it is what it is. Storied Figures or Siblings Bond, Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 150%. And then for the 12 key Super, Brave Sword Attack causes Colossal Damage and lowers Attack and Defense. And the 18 key Super is Brave Heat Flash greatly raises Attack for one turn, causes Mega Colossal Damage, and massively lowers Defense. And then their passive is Attack and Defense plus 100 and 30% storied figures category allies key plus 2, attack and defense plus 20%, sibling spawn category allies key plus 2, attack and defense plus 20%, and then medium chance of launching an additional super attack when performing an ultra super attack and reduces damage received by 13% with each super attack performed within the same turn. And then they have an active skill which can be activated when there is a storied figures category ally and a siblings bond category ally self-excluded on the team starting from the fourth turn from start of battle once only and the effect will remove all allies negative effects so like attack debuffs defense debuffs stuns seals so on and so forth removes all of that from your allies and then all allies keep plus three and attack and defense plus 20 percent for two turns. So extremely, extremely good active skill. This is, uh, in my opinion, one of the best active skill effects in the entire game. When you think about events like the new GT Legendary Goku event, where um, they're, they're lowering your defense a ton, right? This is gonna remove that and also give all of your allies key plus three and attack and defense plus 20% for not just one turn like normal, but two turns, right? And the condition isn't bad either because you just got to make sure when you're building that team to have at least one story figures and one sibling spawn category ally on your team or uh, a unit that's in both categories also works. So yeah, not too bad. Turn four is pretty standard and uh, good passive too. Of course, amazing support, right? For storied allies or sorry, storied figures and sibling spawn allies. And then uh, also for the damage reduction here, since they can super twice up to three times actually with some hidden potential investment um you can get up to 39 percent damage reduction after the attack but on average you're still going to be getting somewhere between 13 to 26 percent damage reduction on top of the you know defense they're already getting um they should be very tanky overall right and uh, also some good damage output especially with the double to triple supers and uh yeah there's not too much else to say about this oh of course i forgot to talk about their links hero experience fighters brainiacs cold judgment solid support fierce battle and legendary power pretty standard tape on link set right there and then for the categories we have joint forces movie heroes siblings bond and storied figures and yeah that's tape and minosha now in the next video which i'll make very soon we'll go over more in-depth stuff like their banner their category all that stuff but for today i just want to give you guys a quick introduction and uh stay tuned for the passer pull video which is coming very soon which i make for every single banner right but when it comes to whether or not you should summon for this unit they're very good okay i'm a huge fan of this unit but there are a lot of different factors you need to consider before you decide to spend stones on this banner a lot of people will call this a trap banner okay and they're definitely not wrong so keep that in mind but anyways let's move on to the agl tape on eza now and as always we'll start with the pre or before extreme z awakening details 
and then jump over to the EZA details so you guys can compare the two. Alright, so starting with the pre-EZA leader skill, it's Giant Form Category Q plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 150%, and then Maximum Number of Turning Giant Form plus 1 for all allies, and then Super Attack is Immense Damage and Lowers Attack, and uh, Passive reduces damage received by 50%, Attack plus 150% and Defense plus 50% when HP is 50% or less and then breaks Majin, breaks Phantom Majin Seal when conditions are met and the condition is breaks Phantom Majin Seal when HP is 50% or less once only. Now after the EZA, Leader Skill becomes Giant Form Category Q plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 160%. Maximum number, maximum number of turning giant form plus one for all allies. And then super attack, immense damage, and lowers attack and defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 120% reduces damage received by 50%. And then plus an additional attack plus 80% when HP is 50% or less. Breaks Phantom Majin Seal when conditions are met and conditions are the same as before. But essentially the improvement here is that on a super attack, he's getting uh, attack and defense, or sorry, he's lowering attack and defense as opposed to just attack. And then on his passive, he's getting a, you know, significant buff before you fall below 50% HP. Whereas, you know, before all he was getting was 50% damage reduction and no attack or defense, right? So big difference there. And uh, as far as after you fall below 50% HP, his buff is smaller. He's only getting 80% uh, attack versus 150% attack and 50% defense. But this is definitely preferable because, you know, you're going to be getting this uh, buff like all the time as opposed to just when you're below 50% HP. So uh, definitely a much, much more useful unit. He's actually going to be doing some damage before you fall below 50% HP, and that 50% damage reduction is also huge, so uh, he's still going to be an amazing tank, but even better now, because obviously he gets better stats after the EZA, his max, st max stats when rainbowed go up to 14,988 HP, 15,940 attack, and 11,898 defense. So uh, yeah, just a really good EZA. Also, he also gets his own Extreme Z battle event. Which is amazing, because that's going to be another, you know, 30, 34, I believe, with the missions. We've got four stones here. Yeah, so 34 stones for the anniversary as well. So if you guys are saving up, then make sure you do this, get all the stones for this. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That's all there is to talk about in today's video. Just two things you guys can expect to see on Global within the next two to three days at most. And uh, I'm pretty stoked. I'm pretty stoked. I mean, you guys know every single time a new unit comes out, a new banner drops, I have to summon. It's just, it's not really an option. But uh, stay tuned for that pass or pull video. We'll go into more details about um, their banner, their category, take a look at their animations, all that stuff. So um, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited for LR Tapion and Minosha, as well as the AGL Tapion Extreme Z Awakening. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.